Hello everybody, this is Abraham at Nonshark Computer Services and today I'd like to show you a clicking hard drive. This hard drive right here is a 500 gigabyte hard drive from an external um, storage. So that's the USB um, devices that you buy in stores and uh, plug into your computer and the way they're designed to work, this particular one was designed to work, it looked like a book so people would have it standing up. Now what happened is this particular drive was standing up and uh, as it was running, as it was spinning it fell down. Okay. Drives do not like to fall down. Even if the device is uh, designed to be standing up do not ever have it stand up always have it laying down chances of damage are much lower okay let's take a look at what's happening inside of the hard drive that has been that has fallen down and uh, hopefully maybe we can fix it I have not taken this one apart before let's go through Chances of getting this drive fixed are almost nil. Most likely the heads are broken. Um, most likely the data on the platters is still okay, so this drive will need a head replacement therapy. Um, uh, this drive is a few years old. Data on it has been considered to be lost and uh, nobody would miss it. So in our lab environment we can safely tear this one apart and look inside. I see a lot of people taking the hard drives apart uh, here on YouTube and uh, then turning them on. Doesn't look like there are any screws under the label. But yeah, there is one right here. Um, do not turn on the hard drive or um, make it run without the top cover. Inside of the hard drive is a controlled air movement, controlled environment or I should say controlled environment for any air movement. Once you uh, disrupt it, the air movement inside of the hard drive, and by taking the cover off, now there's nothing wrong with taking cover off and putting it back on but there is everything wrong with taking it off and then turning on the hard drive. The air inside of the disk is moving at a very specific um, pattern. There's only one way that uh, the air can move. Alright, as you can see there is a big problem with this hard drive. This ring was left by the heads. The heads are actually when this drive fell down have crashed onto the surface and this drive is well it's history. I do not see head fragments here but uh, if we turn this one on, who cares? This drive is gone. Something like this, I would say even the data center or a recovery center, sorry, not data center, recovery center or recovery lab, would give you a call and say, sorry guys, you are screwed. This is actually, wow, when I go over it with a metal 
it's this is sandpaper amazing I honestly have never seen a damage this extensive Let me put my camera in a slightly better angle well let's turn it on this drive is junk heads are junk the only thing that's good about it are the, um, the electronics on the bottom so what happens here is the air is moving in a very specific pattern when drive is spinning the air is spawn with it. It has to go through this filter and trap any particles that may have um, separated from the drive. This particular drive has two platters, quite thick platters. Um, there may be a way to forcibly um, put the heads in the read position, although I would highly doubt that would help this driver's history. Well, let's see it one more time. Let's just play with it. I'll play with it. You watch. So what I'm trying to do is force it to read something on a hard drive and hopefully register on a computer. The hard drive is not happy. It says there is something definitely horribly wrong here. I'll just turn myself off and park the heads. Now heads, if they're left on a platter, in this hard drive it's not a big deal. This is a desktop hard drive. There is a lot of power to start Oh, something sounds really bad. I'm thinking that there is more wrong with this drive than right. So you can hear. These heads have ridden or um, well, they, they flew over this uh, damaged part, and you can hear. That's the grinding noise. This means the heads are damaged beyond repair, any repair. Just spinning it counterclockwise. So what I'm trying to show here is one of my videos I have uh, heads left on a platter and uh, that's often a very fixable thing. In the desktop hard drives there is enough momentum or enough power in the motor to start spinning even if the heads were left on a platter. Now some of the videos on YouTube are showing a uh, platter replacement. These discs are called platters and uh, in my opinion it's impossible. What you have to consider is alignment of the um, disc not only to the head, there are heads on both sides, but to another disc. 
as the disk spins, the heads write information not only this way, but also down. And the information has to align between top platter and a lower platter. This is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. There is almost no way and I'm saying almost because I always am amazed at what people can actually do. But in my opinion, there is no way to align the disks um, after you have replaced them. I, I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, when people tell you, yeah, we can recover anything, all they want is... Uh, to put the foot in the door and for them to send you the hard drive and uh, once hard drive is in their possessions and uh, they see that it's not recovered. I mean, uh, don't take me wrong, there are some labs that are honest but some, um, it's a waste of money. So, for the most part you're not going to get your data recovered sorry, that's my phone recovered from uh, damaged or hard drive damaged this way let's take it apart Okay, you can see that there is actually a damage on the lower platter uh, let's take that one out. I'd like to hear from some labs out there if it is possible to recover information from a hard drive with this much damage. And guys, this is what happens when hard drive falls. Um, when hard drive falls simply from standing up, it didn't fall on the floor. It uh, there was no extensive. Um, just gonna pull the magnets out. There was no extensive damage. Uh, from the outside. In fact, there was no damage. And people always get surprised. Oh my god, it didn't fall down so far. It... Yes, this thing is highly precise. Okay, we know it's six o'clock. I'm glad I don't have to put this thing back together. Uh, I want to show you the heads, the damaged heads. There, ah, fall apart. Okay. So there is no damage on the bottom, but there is damage on top of the lower platter. There is no damage on the bottom of the top platter. There is extensive damage on top. This is very sad. Okay, these are the heads and you can see, let's see if I can create a focus of some kind. Okay. You can see that the top heads are, well, I have to open it. Well, I guess these things are so small, can't really see, but there's the head. And, uh, well, I was expecting to see the heads ripped off. Uh, they're not ripped off. Uh, at least not to the extent that I can see. Um, but, Having them writing over the damaged uh, surface definitely da damages the heads. It would be interesting if uh, we could plug these into a different hard drive and see if they actually work or not. I doubt it. In fact, I doubt that you can 
do a head replacement not because it's impossible but because of the alignment issues these hard drives are formatted after they're put together and all of the formatting stays within this hard drive so head replacement I mean not only you have to get all oops strong magnets all of these numbers correct everything has to be identical except the serial number so the serial number is the only number that's allowed to be different everything else has to be identical there are many plants that manufacture the hard drives there are many different types of hard drives manufactured some are used for professional server stuff some are used for desktop some are used for external storage some and all of them are different and they're different in internal formatting the like these platters are very really thick I've seen some that are thinner than this in fact this platter are, are massive they're heavy um, well there you have it folks Western digital hard drive <coughs> damaged when it fell down or flipped over Thank you for watching.